anasema in sana from kitengela uh, and then someone is saying um from kaganda moranga then dominic is saying mwalimu dominic nikiwa kisi kwenda amasago then there's someone else saying good morning that is hillary ke mwingine ameniambia natazama nikiwa hapa na mwesi in bungoma county mimi natamani sana kufika Mombasa but very soon hope lazima nitafika your dreams are valid mm? your dreams are valid so that guy has introduced to us the question of the day what we are asking you kwa mtandao wetu nilikwambia you go on our social media handles ndio uone ni nini tunauliza so our question of the day which has been answered by um one of the viewers or rather one of the people that have commented is domestic tourism ni wapi hujawahi fika hapa Kenya na unatamani sana kufika ni wapi haujawahi fika na unatamani sana kufika that is here in Kenya where have you desired to go to the most and you've never gone to before i get to hear or rather before i get to read more comments someone has said Mombasa yeah yeah Kobungoma but they would want to go to Mombasa so before i get to read all your comments and ask everyone in this studio to tell me uh, where they have always wanted to go to i have two beautiful ladies in studio to talk to us about tourism it's world tourism day there seems to be a world something day every day and today happens to be world tourism day 2023 karibu ni sana thank you kuko na mmoja amevaka pageant ish you look nice Thank you. You know, you know, no no nanga watu wa kikai bila phone na kwanga mekai wa mekela wa vit. Are those things true? Yeah. Can we just ask before you you give us you tell us your name. Are those yeah. things true zenye mnakela ngo vitabu juu ya kichwa and then you sit in an upright manner. Yeah, they just help you train your posture. So mimi hivi nimeka vibaya. I need to sit like this. Yeah. So that's me, what we are taught. So let me ask you. Mm. Why do I need to sit like this? Like why do I need to sit with my back straight? because you as a model you are representing something so y- you always have to be like on brand say <laughs> <laughs> just sit come in a slouch ni slouch lakini i will never understand it just <laughs> <laughs> it's a good place to start this conversation so tell us your name so my name is elizabeth nzilani i'm a runway model and fashion designer an entrepreneur and i have my own foundation it's called nzilani foundation ah amazing there's an amazing lady in glasses uh my name is charon teji um i just completed my Sorry? fourth year my name is charon teji eh. <laughs> <laughs> there are parents who have a phd <laughs> in naming children yeah they overdid it <laughs> <laughs> Okay it's it's fine you have a beautiful name thank you um yeah i'm waiting to start my career in public administration so that's all right now amazing amazing yeah. so um are you passionate about traveling yeah personally i am because as a model uh most of the time you'll be required to travel to events to various places maybe there is a function you're supposed to attend so it's something you have to adapt but if you love it from the start it's an added advantage because you get to enjoy it it's not like you're forced for me it's just i like fun <laughs> i have to have a list <laughs> <laughs> a list of places to go like you have it the tip you know so yeah so okay yeah. so tuanze tu kwa hiyo swali ya yenye tunauliza watu kwa mtandao let me just start with both of you before I even talk about world tourism day let's just start from ni wapi hujawahi fika hapa Kenya na unatamani sana kufika uh, for me it has to be diani oh okay <laughs> oh that place I, i always see the photos the views i'm like uff huko ni Kenya kweli <laughs> so yeah diani ina i don't know i think it's in naivasha just in a kanga very luxurious and you know just want to go there and relax nothing much personally where mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's so nice to ask me today I, i don't think i fancy going to coast 
Wow. No. I, okay. <laughs> Partly, I think, because I have lived in coast Okay. Before. Makes sense. <laughs> I don't, you see the way people love, think about coast and they're like, ooh, I want to go to coast. I think where I would want to go to, where I have fancied going to, mm. is this Kajado, mm. Kajado, to, 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 to places in Kajado, those two beautiful, beautiful places. I think I have a, I have a lot. May I have a bucket? I, I don't have my phone. I wanted to tell you. I have a whole list of places I want to go to in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm taking them one by one, like, in terms of places that pe not many people go to. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to go to Naivasha, I don't want to Nakuru. Those, those are, like, you see those two remote, two places, to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. I've heard of it, it's so nice. Yeah, so okay. I, that, that, that's what I'm thinking. So let me ask you, do you think that there are places that are overrated in terms of tourism here in Kenya? Um... For me, I would say I think the the coast, <laughs> the coastal region for us people are like, I'm going to coast Nanda Mombasa, you know, and in your head you have this whole. It's a nice place, but then you have this whole big picture of everything that's going. Then you reach there, you're like, oh, so we we have normal people there. It's just normal Kenyans, you know, because sometimes pe people tend to think it's like a place that's different from from Kenya but I think for me the coast but it's a beautiful place yeah do you find there's somewhere you think it's overrated in Kenya I'd also say coast because there's nothing different other than the beaches um, restaurants they would use copia Nairobi like everything is just the same other than kuingia kwa maji na kuingia kwa maji the only difference ni omchanga kwa mbada tu tenda swimming pool at resorts and stuff yeah, I think what one enjoy coast ni wazungu. Mm. Maybe because of the climate and what. But for us, say ni katu na toroka snow yeah. somewhere. So, yeah, coast is quite overrated. Mm. So, uyu wa mesema anataka kuanda diani. <laughs> na kasuma coast ni overrated. <laughs> coast Mombasa to be specific. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mombasa. But there is no difference. <laughs> 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 okay, why do you feel so? Because <laughs> Mombasa and Adyan, it's all the same. People go for the same reasons. Nainaka the same. So there's no difference. Do you find, do you, in your own opinion, hmm. do you feel like us, that is, when I mean us, the local Mwananchi, that is yeah. Kenyan, domestic, of course, let me just name it that because that's what they're called, domestic tourists. Do you, how would you compare domestic tourism level with international tourism level because you see us Kenyans have we embraced tourism, tourism? Mm. so I think for international tourism it's I think it's performing better compared to domestic tourism because for us I feel we are we are usually like this place Nimesha Zoya why why like you don't see them that excitement, that joy, it's like you're going to a new place. But you see for the tourists, the international ones, when they come, they're like, they're so excited because they're going to a new place. It's maybe most of the time it's a new name to them when they are hearing these uh, places for the first time. So for me, I think international tourism is doing better. Definitely international. Because, okay, at Aqua tour agencies, like when you want to give them a deal of we're just locals we want to go somewhere they don't the reception is quite different compared to like international guests or tourists because uh, they usually like ah mm -hmm. and you guys are just difficult to deal with but international tourists their rates are higher so they pay more which is beneficial economically and also I'd say, come on, there's a time I went to Mara for three days. By the second day, I was bored. I was so bored. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, any, you wake up in the morning, the same things you see day one, it's the same things you see day two, and any, Sylvia Mkakila Skuku Angalia Simba. Next day, Angalia Simba, the third day. Like, yeah. no. So I think international tourists, they find it exciting. For them, it's exciting. So 
it's a new experience yeah. yeah so let me ask you you've raised a very important a very important point if you as a domestic traveler are thinking like that do you feel like sisi ndo tunachangia our tourism sector not growing the domestic side of it yes because i feel like if if we were more excited about it and if we, we had that en enthusiastic energy like we are excited we are, we always wanting to go to new places let's go visit this part of kenya let's go this side i feel people would embrace the culture more compared to just oh amenda naivasha oh okay you know yeah yeah i agree <laughs> 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 I tried. <laughs> I love I love what you've done there. I love what you've done there. <laughs> that came in quite quite handy. But I are we putting enough effort into our tourism sector? No, we are not. Why not? Because I feel there's some effort, but we can do better we can advertise better we can encourage our community here the local you know people we can i think we can do something to um yeah the locals we are not doing much but at least we have to our agencies when you want to stand in place of that ataka us we are not visiting the places and what but their marketing is very top notch they have very nice packages and yeah plus the ministry in charge of it so they come quite in handy yeah so in a in a balance they help to have the balance in that sector mm. yeah amazing mm. let me introduce the uh, issue of traveling agencies mm -hmm. would you rather travel using a traveling agency or just arrange your own traveling means so for me uh I have never used a traveling agency so I wouldn't know how the experience is but what I hear from people I think the experience is nice it's more convenient because you don't have to to source out for resources by your own like traveling means accommodation and stuff they get you sorted and everything so I think it's an experience I'm yet to try but from what I hear from people it's it's a nice feedback so I don't know travel agencies i think it depends if you're traveling on a budget it's not uh, a good idea to use travel agencies and but if you have the money and you're comfortable paying because they're obviously going to add their own charges they have to benefit from it and to use travel agencies it's also beneficial for people who are not familiar with the place um let's say some like international tourists so they're the ones who probably use uh, agencies and also let's say if you're from Bungoma and you want to go to coast you wouldn't know coast so a travel agency will be the best choice because they'll arrange what you'll do like the first day maybe go uh, swim with dolphins do one two three but if you're on a budget you have to like sit down let's plan transport mm -hmm. this is what it's going to cost us we don't have to use a plane let's use sgr when we get there we don't have to use a taxi let's use tuk tuk mm -hmm. you know so it's going to be cheaper so yeah so what what, what do you look for in um, now that we were talking about our question of the day was talking about um place una is ataka kufika so what do you look for in a vacation package like right now assuming that you're going for a vacation what would you look for in a vacation package i think for me i would go for comfortability first of all and the convenience and then are there some ni exciting things mm -hmm. to do some activities maybe sightseeing what are we going to do while we are there because i want something different from where i'm coming from let's say if i need a vacation it means i need a break from my from my day to day like mm -hmm. so i need something more exciting so i think for me i would look for the thrill for the convenience and the comfortability and of course affordability what will the ideal vacation package look like try <laughs> <laughs> um affordable 
have to be affordable <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> affordable, but still they have like good accommodation. For me, when I'm traveling, I think number one thing where I'm going to rest after the whole day, it has to be somewhere quite exquisite, I'd say so. Um, and what else? They have to have like free stuff, like, you know, <laughs> they let you do stuff on their own budget, kind of. Yeah. That's so, cool. you've raised very beautiful, amazing points. What would you consider most important in the tourism sector? That is, is it the price? Is it the product or is it the experience? That is communication. What would you consider most important? The price, that is <laughs> money. Yeah. The product, what you're getting, or the experience? I think for me, I, w I would choose <laughs> It's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I think I would look at the, the experience, first of all. And if I, I was to choose a second one, I, I would go with price. The experience, because you, you, the product can be there, the services can be top notch, but at the end of the day, the experience is on you. You can choose either to have fun, to enjoy, or to engage. They can give you the packages, but at the end of the day, if you don't want to take part in the activities, if, if you don't want to be part of the package, you won't have the full experience. And I feel that's on you. So for me, I would go for experience first of all, and then price. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'd say experience, then product, then price. Uh, but by the time you are deciding to go on holiday or a vacation, lazima you put like money for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. price will come last. Then experience is number one because I'm going on that trip because I want to have fun. I need to experience it. Um, like it's very disappointing. Tell me you go to coast yeah. and then it rains the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I went, that was what happened to me the last time I was in coast. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was in. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I it was in, um, was it May or April? It was during that school holiday, not this August, the, the other one. Uh -huh, yeah. The school holiday, I went to coast. I went on a Thursday. I was coming <laughs> back on a Sunday. Oh my, <laughs> let me tell you, it rained on Thursday, it rained on Friday, it rained on oh no. Saturday. <laughs> the only day I went out and I left Nairobi, went to coast. The only day it did not rain was on Saturday from one. Oh my goodness. That was the only time I went out. Okay, the weather was amazing because it was not that. Cold, cold, yeah. Like you could, it was uh, it was nice, but let me tell you. Hey, <laughs> the experience. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you know you in room know. the whole entire weekend because I really prayed, stop raining. No, Thursday did not stop. Friday, Friday Saturday. <laughs> I, I was just like, if I knew it, I would not have gone. Mm. Two, and coast during that time. Never ever. So you didn't get to swim? No. <gasps> Even to go out. The only thing <laughs> I did when I went for that for that vac the only mm -hmm. thing I did was attend church on Sunday and on Saturday afternoon I went for a walk in Old Town. Oh. That was literally it. In a pair of shorts and a t shirt. I couldn't get to nilifanya nilichukua to <laughs> Pictures there are short na ni ni lipigwa kama ni mesimama pa kwa cliff. Oh my goodness! And that was it. That was your first time there. No. Oh. But but still. For holiday. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's that's what happened. The mm -hmm. last time I was in coast was recently. I, I that was a one day thing. I went for a day in the morning. Mm -hmm. and, uh, got in, spent the day. I didn't go anywhere. So Funny enough, I just stayed in the hotel. Yeah. And that was it. Stayed in the hotel the whole day. Went to, I don't know why I have this love for Old Town. Went to Old mm -hmm. Town in the evening, then came back on Saturday. So now this second time was supposed to be the highlight now. This second time I, I was just, was, 
and then rain. Okay, nilikuwa <laughs> apana. The first time ndo nilikuwa na psych. Yeah. But the second time, I, I just needed a day away from my normal schedule. I was just tired and I wanted, I want rest. So I went to coast. So your experience was all dumb. Sorry, I cut you short, but I totally relate when you say yeah. it is not funny to wake up to look forward to a vacation and then it is ruined by weather. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had an experience where you wanted to go? It doesn't have to be like a vacation, vacation like you had to travel, but you, you wanted, you were. You're going to somewhere and then like, yeah, you the wanted weather to have just. Yeah. yeah. I've had one of those moments. For me, it was a different one because now we were supposed to to have an event, and now it's at night, and um, we th the team they were they were not ready with the, the tents and everything. So now rain starts and people are now stranded. What do we do? Should we go on? Should we cancel? Should we postpone? Because now it was last minute, but thank God it wasn't that long. There were zile short short ones. Try on. We won't do let's show you what. Tell us more. We won't do let's show you what. Tell us. Have you been in such a situation? Um, yeah, rain. Can you repeat plans? Yeah. The Diani one. That's the only thing that is stuck in my mind with rain. I can't even remember any other scenario other than the Diani one because I think you're the liniuma the most. You know, unamka, you've changed. You're just in your swimwear. Unekasa unangoja. Aki itaisha, itaisha, <laughs> let's wait <laughs> till evening, you're just like, okay, sani kukula, mm. tunakurudi kulala. So, yeah, that's all. I think one of the most um, crucial things when it comes to tourism is customer service. What's your definition of outstanding or rather impeccable customer service? For me, I would, um, I would go for... Uh, a team that's friendly, first of all, that's accommodative of every person because we all have different personalities and different characters, so to say. So uh, a nice customer service kind of uh, deal would be one that is accommodative to everyone and one that's friendly and they're just ready to assist you and they're outspoken not like y you feel you have to be like excuse excuse at times uh, they, they also reach out first yeah try what would be your like tip on that yo 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 this is this ukitoka your trip utakuwa mm. like man i had the best experience with that customer service um i think we'll start with the tour agency first notifike kwa the place itself um, as much as we like to support the small businesses that are upcoming to our agencies, the problem is most of them are quite organized. So they end up spoiling your whole experience and holiday. Like you might get to the vacation and maybe the activities, something that was in the package, you go assuming this is my activity for today, it's already paid for. You get there, mm. then you're told no, we don't have an idea about that, you have to pay again. Mm. Nadra, so you're already there. Maybe you hadn't budgeted for that. You guys left home knowing everything is sorted. Mm. So you have to like source extra funds. Mm, already that has spoiled your experience. Because yeah. mm -hmm. now you have to, no one likes digging into their pockets a second time, a third time. <laughs> um, so on tour agencies, that could be my only complaint. And then maybe you go to a place, come on. Cost at a cut on a penda quenda cost. There are places where they prefer serving other races. I won't specify, but various other races. Mm -hmm. So you might sit there, they take time to bring you food. Uh, the restrictions that Ninim Naikewa and you're like, Aya, why, why is this other person able to do this and I can't do that? Kwani, what's the problem? So is customer service is, I think, in a fact, priority number one because that will determine will they want to go to that place again will they travel with this agency again and yeah you've raised you've raised something that's very very like a touchy mm -hmm. a touchy subject because in tourism 
where we started from because we're almost coming to an end of this conversation mm -hmm. where we started from from uh, domestic and international tourists there's this the way she's saying it but there's um there's a way that do international travelers are treated that domestic travelers are not treated and i wanted to ask what in your opinion what do you think could be done to better the situation So for me, I think uh, if we embrace uh, it's okay to be in these places, it's okay to be in the same space with these other races, and uh, for us to normalize, it's okay for you to get the same services they are getting, I think that would be a stepping stone because if you go to a place, you know, like if this one is being served a certain way, I should also be served th a certain way because the amount we are paying is the same. Ama, is there any time it's written now for international ones, you, you pay this amount and then follow? I think the services, uh, the, the pricing is the same. So first of all, for us, it, uh, I think it needs to start with us embracing like uh, the fact that if this service, this is the standard, I should be getting this. It shouldn't be minimum. And also for the, for the ones in charge, like uh, the ones offering the services, I think uh, they should also embrace, it's like you're also giving back to, to your people because it will also encourage uh, domestic tourism because you'll be like, if you go to this place, there are usually this certain race there, but the experience you get, it's the same. So it will be somehow encouraging to us to, to engage more in these activities and to travel more. Yeah. Amazing. Try on your two um, cents. Okay. For me, I'd say training training of the personnel who are handling the clients you have to make sure they know every ev everyone is important this is how you deal with people and so they'll be they'll be fair and then supervision supervisors have to be sit you just sit somewhere and give instructions like move around no how are my clients being treated is everyone being treated all right are there any complaints and if there's any issue of racism what is the not like punishment but what are the consequences of a certain personnel if uh, you're spotted or reported or something yeah and then what we can do also as tourists you go to a place and then you feel I, I think we also have to like to toy your mentality you know mm -hmm. so someone is just saying something out of this these are the instructions place yet we go easy but you feel like i'm in kenya and i feel like how you are better when you shinda so you end up um, overreact over something that's mm -hmm. not an issue and then yeah when you two people are saying ah Caustic overrated, GOP overrated. If we show them we are also important, we are also traveling to these places, we are giving you business. Mm. So, Tafanya wanze ku treat everyone equal. Yeah. Amazing. Now, I'm Tumungina Mesemam, watching from CIA. Actually, ni, uh, he's calling himself himself Churchill. Mm -hmm. Watching from CIA, Mimi Mnipeleke Mombasa, Poem. Karyuki, and I say, following. Then there is um, uh, Racha, Racha Jose, I hope you may, you may pronounce this. I'm going Watamu. Yeah, I'm Watamu. Mm. Then someone is saying, I'm a tune in from Muranga Gidraf, thank you. Then I'm going to say, I'm going to Then someone is saying, tuned in from Naivasha, na place ni metamani kufika ni diani. At least, ni enjoy the cool breeze at the beach. Someone identifies <laughs> with you. That is Michael Truman. Then there's Sheik Slacy, and I say, Manakuru, massive thank you. Then there's Lucy and Lucy, and I say, following thank you. Then there's Pablo saying, watching thank you. Mungina, I say, Luke Jr., I say, I'm going to tell then Katrin, I'm going to say, 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 Ah, uh, Wanduasi anasema, okay, thank you, Wanduasi. Then Kevo is saying, good morning, good morning to you, Kevo. Then Edgar is saying, Nyahururu tuned. Thank you so much, Edgar. So I want us to wrap up this conversation. I don't know where you want to wrap it up, but I want you to give us a party shot of... At least Ninge joining the Malizena, your part. Mm. But Tuliaza and your part. So you can give us your, your, your party shot. Anything tourism related, 
and tell us where we can find you on your, on, uh, your social media handles. That's the camera. So for me, I would encourage uh, the public out there and people, if you want to travel somewhere, it's nice to have those uh, goals and visions. It's nice to want nice things and a vacation and everything. And once in a while, it's nice for you to have a vacation. They say too much work without play makes <laughs> Jack and Jill, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Makes Lisa dull girl. <laughs> yes, so if you work hard, you should also enjoy hard, so to say. So it's nice to have these packages. It's nice to explore our beautiful country. We have various activities to do here. And uh, we should embrace domestic tourism. It will boost us as an economy, as a country, and it will encourage us more to be on the same level as the others on an international platform. So for me, you can find me on Instagram at nzilani underscore Liz and everywhere else, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat at Liz Nzilani. Hi, Erin. Give us a parting shot. Um, uh, the year is ending. We're going to December holidays and stuff. So to our agencies, Mwangeze packages uh, very many people. People don't have to travel as couples, as friends who know each other. <laughs> Let's just get out of our comfort zone, travel with new people, make connections, uh, to say to economy, to say dear Ruto. <laughs> <laughs> um, Instagram underscore try on TG. Your TG na pronounce your TEJI. T E J I. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> when I grow up, I will name my children the way Mama Tryon named her. Where? I think that we can try and pay tips on naming children because we are. But anyway, thank you for keeping us company from morning up till now. We do not take your company for granted. We appreciate you immensely. And you know we're going to do the same time, same place, same everything tomorrow, the same time to Potani Hapakesho for Thursday vibes where we get to radiate and brighten up your morning. My name is Chris Mindy and thank you for being with us today.